Hello everyone, this is Vanessa and I'm making a video of a small tiny haul. And what I mean by tiny is that it's for my American Girl doll. It's nothing like big, like how some packages are really huge and humongous. Um, so this is just going to be a small little haul. So I have the elegant earrings. These are so cute. And I like it how it has the star dangles and then it has the pink dangles and then the little rhinestone as a post. And then this is um, another thing I got from American Girl. I don't want to see my packaging, so I'll put that there. And this is the diabetes set. I really recommend this uh, set. I really like this set. So here it is, all in tissue. It's nice to see that they come in a box, though. Okay, so here we have a little carrying case. These are all individually wrapped. And here's the pump. This is usually used for to control your diabetes, especially if you have like type 1, which this set here is a diabetes set, but it's good for either ones that have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. The test strip. You need this for if you are type 1 or type 2. In my family, type 1 and type 2 both runs on um, both sides of my family. And here is the little, um, oh gosh, which one is this one? It's the, uh, the, the, when you check your sugar. And it does move up and down the blue part over here. So it's like, it doesn't have no needle there, but it's very realistic. And then this here, I did not completely open, but it does twist. And I can pull up on the lid a little bit. So it does, you know, open there. And it, you know, back and forth. So that's really cute. And it's got the little cover thingy. This is the EpiPen here. Or the insulin pen, sorry. EpiPen is for allergies. <laughs> um, and this is the glucose bottle. Um... I try to see if it does twist, it doesn't, so it's just a bottle. It's just the stuff that is the little silicone gel stuff. And then this right here is the daily. Oop, I dropped it. Uh oh. Where did it go? Uh oh. I don't. Don't know where I went to. Oh no. I dropped it and I don't see it. Oh boy. Okay, well that's not good. Oh no, what did it go to? I don't know, I have to pick it up um, in a second. I don't know where it went to. Okay, so here's these sticker thingies. And I believe this is for the, um, for the pump. The insulin pump. An IED bracelet. And it does say... What does it say? It says type 1 diabetes. And it's purple. These are band-aids. These are stickers, but they're band-aids. And then this is what it tells you what it all comes with right here. And this is the back on how to do the insulin pump, like how you apply. So the stickers is for that, and it tells you, like, after you put it on here, you want to peel the sticky thing off, so that way it can stick onto your doll. Also, with the pump, you do get, like, a little clip in the back, so it, like, clips onto you. My aunt has this one. And my mom has the insulin pin, so. I got this, uh, this... Here, I did order another one, but I got this one for my mother. So I'm going to put all this back in here. Oops, this goes in first. Uh oh, there is something I did forget to find. I said I was going to show it to you guys after I find it. So let me see if I can find it here in a second. 
That's really bizarre. Like, it fell, and then now I can't find it at all. Which is really bizarre. Okay, I know it couldn't have fallen anywhere far, because there's nothing else for it falling off to. Hmm. Okay. This is a whole... This is definitely a mystery. Okay, so it didn't fall there, but I did see a fall. Okay, wow, it like literally like disappeared. <laughs> I don't know how long it will take me to find it. Because if it fell, it would be right here. Surprisingly, it's not. Okay, that is really bizarre. Oh, found it. Okay, that was a really odd spot. Where was that? Where it fell down to? I thought that was, thought it fell on the floor. Okay. So this here is a dialogue um, goal. Like the daily diabetes log. So what you would do is you would put... For example, you do it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then you want to do your um, your reading and the dose. And then reading and dose. So it goes all the way across. So I'll show you what that looks like in here. I'm going to hold it still so you guys can see. I want it to focus. So it does have a cute touch and each page is the same. There's no difference in the pages. So they're all the same from the front to back. And then in the back has got this nice print. So it's a cute touch. I like that. And then on the side for the binding it has like the string that goes inside so it has a binding which is cute just like the real thing. You know, you probably could even write your own uh, log in there too, like after you really do test it for the ones that really do have diabetes. That'd be a cute touch for the way. I mean, I know it doesn't have many pages, but it's cute for ones that say, hey, you know, I just want to put some of my readings down, and so you can. So, again, here is the uh, tester thing, and then this, I don't know if I showed this too well, but this is the meter. This is to test your strip, you know, after you draw, you know, after you poke your finger, this is the test to see what your reading is. And that's a really cute, cute set. And it does say Truly Me on the box, and it says Diabetes Care Kit, which is the whole full kit, everything I showed you. So it's really cute. So that's two things out of the way. And then, oops. Just wanted to get this out of the way. Okay, this is our generation, but I wanted to show you because I finally got this set and I really like it a lot. It has dominoes, and it has the real pieces for dominoes, and they really do come out. Two bingo cards, bingo chips, and you get the uh, bingo colors, you know, that corrupt the numbers as you call the numbers out. Here's what the back of it looks like. I'm going to pull it away some so you guys can see that. And then here's everything that it comes with. I hope it's not reading a play on no, it's not. It's just showing upside down. But I'm trying to read it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you get one dominoes, and it's a box with 20 dominoes, two bingo cards, 20 bingo chips, 20 chip numbers, and one string bag. Drawstring bag, which is this right here. So, you can keep all your little tiny pieces in there. 
and the cover chips, they're th this pinkish, it's like pink purplish color. It's more purple than pink, but it's got that. And it's got nice pretty glitter on it. So this is perfect for your American Girl so they can play a game. So I figured since I did that, I'm just going to open this up. My dog is barking. Okay, let's see if I can get it out of here. Maybe I'll just cut it on the side. It's going to be a lot easier so I don't mess up anything. Okay. Snipping away. Oh. What's this? It does say Game Night. And it's Our Generation Retro. How to play dominoes. Stop one... You place all the dominoes face down on the table and shuffle around. Step two, each player takes seven dominoes. The player with the highest doubles goes first using the start using to start the game. Step three, the next player lays a domino with the same value next to the first domino on either end. Make sure the matching values are always touching. Step four, keep playing your dominoes from your hand, matching them with two open ends of the play. If you cannot make a move with your dominoes, you must pass. Step five, the first person to run out of dominoes wins the game, or the game ends if no anyone has to pass. Count your score by the number of dots on the tiles. Remaining when your hand, the lowest total score wins. And this tells you, that's kind of nice that it tells you how to play dominoes if you never played dominoes before. So that's a cute uh, touch. I like that. So thank you, our generation, for doing that. So everybody knows how to play. I like how it says game night. I have chips and dip or cookies or whatever it might be, like cookies and milk. Hmm. You're probably saying, oh, come on already. Okay, so I, the easiest way is to open it up like this so when all the pieces don't fall out. And then let that slide down. Okay, that's perfect. That's kind of cute. It's got this plastic thing inside so that way it does not mess up. So here's what it looks like on the bottom. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a rough edge right here. I'm not sure why that is, but it does. But what I like about this, so that way you don't lose all the pieces, there's a plastic layer on this. Or so it feels like. Yeah, there is. Um, not sure exactly how it's supposed to come out. If you did this to a real dominoes game, it actually would all, like all the pieces would actually fall out. I mean... Yeah, there's a plastic layer so that way you don't lose all the pieces, so that is nice. I like that a lot. And it's completely sealed. So that way you don't lose all the pieces. Like, it has a small opening here, which is nice, but then all your pieces stay here. So I love that. It's the real game. So, like, if you don't want to pay a big price for, um... Domino's game and you just want to pay, you know, a small amount. This is the way to go And then we'll see how this actually slides on see if it really does slide on Okay Here we go. Here's the test. It does have the opening like it should slide in So we'll see Or not. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, look at that is perfect doll sized and you can actually really do play and to open it up there is this little dip for your finger you just slide that all the way across there you have it your dominoes oh my gosh that is such a nice touch so if you don't want to take the plastic off and you just want to leave it on yeah 
So, I like that. It is a very nice touch. I love it. Depends on like which way you want to put it on. And it says Domino. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so here we go with the bingo bag. I like how everything is packaged. That it's not just packaged with tape and then you have to try to, you know, get it out. And it's a pain that way. Okay. It doesn't tell you the instructions on how to open the bag. I guess that's just the... I guess that's the biggest it goes to open it. I'm not sure what the right way is. Okay. This right here looks like it could be sealed up too. Oh, they keep the pieces together, but they're also separate in each packaging. I love that. So right here's all the bingo uh, numbers. They're in this bag here. And then the cover-up chips are here. Just in the same bag, but it's also separate. Love that touch. And then, this is what I'm curious about. So that's nice that it has a cover piece so that way it does not come out. Now, American Girl, they do have bingo games, but I'm not sure. Some of the times they have the tape in the back, which is not good. But I love this one because they're not taped in the back and they're not taped to the packaging. So you have to tear it up or whatever. So that is a very nice touch. So here's the bingo game cards here. So here we have this one, and here we have this one. What I like too is that the numbers are in different spots, which is nice. Love it. There you go, so you guys can see. I like that a lot. Love it. Okay, and then we take the pieces out here. Looks like it could be covered with another plastic, maybe. Yep, that was right. So we'll remove it with this plastic piece here. And I love it that it's not taped. So here's another plastic piece. Take that out. Here we have the numbers. Oh, they're cute too, and they're plastic. Like they should be, but they look like they're wood, but they're plastic. And then here we have one, two, oops, two, and three. Uh, the um, bingo chip cover thingies. Let's see if I can turn it this way so you guys can see. I just don't want it to drop. So there it is. Focus. There you have it. So cute. And there's three of those that are here loose. Yeah, so that's all the pieces. I and I love every single thing that is here. I love all the sets. So we put that here. So here you have game night. There's that and that and that. And all the pieces here. Except for the scissors. They don't belong there. And then, obviously, the pieces that are in my hand. So, yeah. I love that. So, you guys can see. That's what it looks like in my hand. But then, here's everything else here. This game piece here, though, feels like my piece is having some sticky things on it. Not sure why, but I'll probably get it removed if I work at it hard enough. Let's see if I can get that off. But anyway, I love all the pieces that are here. Also, I'm gonna try this since I have some pieces in my hand. Let's see if I can open this packaging. Don't know if I can. Where's the tape at? The tape is over here. Well, it was, but... Let's 
see if I can gently open this up. Okay. And then let's see if those pieces will actually fit and then I can roll this over and tape it down with. Yeah, that worked too. So now I've got all the pieces in here. So they do fit it and then they will probably fit in the bag. Probably do if I work at it. Trying to get it in the bag. Push, push, push. So yeah, there I have it. Everyone, take care. Bye.